Everything you know, everything you've experienced, has all led to this. Is that my desk? Yeah. Why do I have such a small desk? Well, because you weren't there when we were choosing desks. You snooze, you lose. Well, I was under house arrest. Yeah. Guys. Hope, come on. We got to focus. It is. On July 6th, get ready. Watch this. Four. This is garbage. I got it at a rummage sale. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Get tickets tomorrow. Skillful, agile, and fast. Hi. They call her the Wasp. She seems intense. Scott, we unleash something powerful. We need your help. Oh, boy. You owe us. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. And the Wasp everywhere July 6th. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. I love the way that they tie that to Infinity War. This is the biggest thing you've ever been waiting for. And then he points to like his crappy little desk. Like, oh, I was under house arrest. Winking at everyone from behind the camera. Yeah, that's why I wasn't around for all the ashes just a couple months ago. If you didn't see it, because they're on the press tour, they also did talk a little bit about Avengers 4 and Infinity War. I'll put a clip of that at the end of the video. It's kind of janky, but it is funny to watch them try to answer questions about Avengers 4. So if you're finding me for the first time, there's a new round of that Infinity War Blu-ray giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. As I'm posting this video, it's Father's Day, so of course everybody's posting memes. Probably my favorite one is Spider-Man and Iron Man because he has sort of adopted Peter Parker within the MCU, even though they haven't really played it that way in the movies. I expected them to go there a little bit more during Infinity War, but it's still kind of at arm's length. Like, they made the Batman joke, is this your ward? Like, he's his Robin? No, that's not our relationship. And then you have the whole tip-off about Tony Stark thinking that he might be having a child with Pepper Potts. So, like, okay, wait a minute. What are they trying to imply here? Last night, I dreamt. We had a kid. So real. We named him after your eccentric uncle. Uh, what was his name? Right. Morgan. Morgan. So you woke up and thought that we were... Expecting. Yeah. Then there's all the Hawkeye memes. Like, where is Hawkeye on Father's Day? Remember, he had that newborn that they named after Quicksilver. For all you Quicksilver truthers out there that still think that he's coming back sometime. My other favorite thing about this, too, is the matchbox cars that he just grows up. Like, he opens the container. They need that van. So he just pulls it out like it's a toy car. Of course, that totally makes sense that he would do that if they've been doing it with this building this whole time. I think the thing they've really done with the Hank Pym character is lean a little bit more into the comedy of it. Because when they first introduced the character during the original Ant-Man movie, I think they were leaning more into the comic book Hank Pym. They implied he had this crazy temper and it was a little bit darker. Now they're leaning more into like he's the funny old dad man who used to be this Tony Stark level industrialist with his crazy Pym tech. They keep saying that all these characters show up during Avengers 4, so I'm just wondering if we're going to get to see a version of the original Ant-Man. They imply that there were flashbacks because we do see the original Wasp costume, but we haven't seen a whole lot of OG Ant-Man besides the flashbacks during the first Ant-Man movie, which is really brief, and like you don't actually see him doing a whole lot. You just see that flashback to the missile where he's wearing the costume. But by all accounts, the suit that Michelle Pfeiffer is wearing in all these promo posters make it look like she is a badass in this film. So if one of the two of them is going to be doing anything cool, it's probably going to be her. But if you've been reading the comics recently, they've been doing a lot of weird stuff with the Hank Pym character. A little while ago, they fused him with Ultron. Like, that was their solution for getting rid of Ultron. Hank Pym's like, I will defeat him by becoming him. So it's sort of them taking the more problematic parts of Hank Pym's character and his backstory and fusing it with Ultron, his creation from the comics. So it's sort of like him becoming his worst creation. So it's this weird metaphor. It was part of the Infinity Countdown story. If you haven't been reading that, Marvel, because Infinity War came out and it was this big Infinity Stone story, Marvel Comics, of course, wanted to capitalize on that with a big comic book event the same way they did with Captain America Civil War in Civil War 2. So the actual story of it has no resemblance to movie Infinity War. But if you're a big comic book fan, they are trying to do some interesting things with trying to explain this multiversal Infinity Gem story where you have a couple Infinity Stones that have shifted realities. So there's a couple really complex ideas 
that I think that they're trying to tease for Avengers 4 multiverse stuff. I've done a couple videos about how they can incorporate the idea of the multiverse into the MCU during Avengers 4, like him and Feige teasing the idea that we're gonna see alternate versions of characters that we already know, like characters maybe in the future, like we have Scott Lang's daughter that's gonna be a teenager at some point during Avengers 4, but also Evangeline Lilly making this comment that, oh, Avengers 4 feels a lot like Lost season four, where they shifted between different different timelines and different realities so it's like oh maybe there are other characters in present day in other realities that are wearing the mantle of some of these characters. I've already done a big video about that so I'll link it at the end of this but we're just starting to get into Avengers 4 stuff. Kevin Feige has been doing presentations. They started to show off what Hulk's new armor is going to look like so I'll do separate videos about that. Here's that interview of Ant-Man and the Wasp talking about Infinity War and Avengers 4 stuff. They want to know, he wants to know, she wants to know, I want to know, what were you doing during the Avengers? Where were you? The whole world is there. Every superhero is there. The whole world's fighting. Spoiler alert, Spider-Man is disappearing. The Black Panther is dying. Where are you? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> Explain yourself. Yes, explain yourself, Ant-Man. Where were you? The fight, Thanos was here. Where were you? I remember going to see Infinity War, and they do mention yes. that I was under house arrest yes. and I was not able to leave. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it, a it, lot it, going it, on. For the record, I was there. I was just tiny. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. She, she showed up and tried to do her part to save the world. What, what were you doing? Well, maybe I was too small and you just couldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just piggybacked on your joke there. <laughs> but we're, we're super excited and we, we know you're going to be in, in the next film, obviously, right? So you're going to be there to save the world. All, all, uh, all answers asked will be revealed. The big thing there, obviously, Evangeline Lilly is in Avengers 4, but as far as we know, she only filmed about a single day on that set. Then the Winter Soldier has also talked about how he had scenes with Janet Van Dyne and Hank Pym. So pretty much every character you can imagine has scenes or at least one brief scene during Avengers 4. But some of that is probably very brief, like a couple frames, big wide crowd shots. So when they talk about people having scenes in Avengers 4, just remember that can mean a lot of different things. But leave all your requests in the comments below and I'll name a new giveaway winner when I post new Marvel. There's an award show that MTV is doing on Monday. I think it's the Teen Choice Awards where a bunch of Marvel actors are presenting. Aquaman is going to be there. So there might be a couple big trailers dropping. If anything does, I will totally do a video for it. But click here for that Avengers 4 video and click here to learn about all the big DC stuff that dropped this past week. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.